Hey everyone, this is just a follow up to today's diary. So, uh, right now it's 7.35 p.m. And surprisingly it's 18 degrees outside. While it's really cold out there. So, uh, since then I wasn't able to get a voice, uh, I made a mistake. I made a Twitter account just to literally text two people from those old friends just to get their discords, you know. And right now, I'm waiting for the replies to give me their discords so that I can just deactivate, deactivate this thing and get the hell out of there with the discords, you know. And no, I'm not going to be giving it to anyone. And no, I'm not going to go back to Twitter at all. Because believe me, it's just, it would just add on to my current problems already. Thanks to social media. Especially, I'll be back to that horrible, terrorizing uh, memories and whatsoever. Things are just not going to be alright at all. Meanwhile, meanwhile, once again, more visions, more stupid what ifs. Especially, I really got a fucking vision. A what if vision? If basically the owner of that server came up to me on my new account and decided to literally just, you know, I just want to have a casual, normal, humane chat with you. And all of that stuff. And I'll be literally just giving it all out. Because I don't care, care a single bit anymore. Because my two accounts have been known. So why else should I hide anymore? And literally, in that vision, he's literally like, Yo, I think we, I think we have misunderstood you again. And I'd like you to get back to my server. And I was like, get back to your server? Really? Are you nuts? And again, it's all in a vision in my head. Like, things would be drastically and awfully different in real life. So anyway, after explaining more of the pain and whatsoever, He's like, wow, just wow. We thought you would improve, but we, li- but apparently you have went even lower. And I was like, does it even matter now? You're the ones who did this, and I know that I'm the one who was responsible for the beginning of all the stupidity in the first place. But this just doesn't mean I would be, I would have to be completely punished for it a few damn months later. <sighs> More conversation, blah blah blah, is in the vision. And uh, the last thing I finally woke up on is okay, just at least have some of your friends from that server. They still miss you and all that. And I was like, yeah. I bet you have made, made them act like my friends so they can backstab me. Forget it. Really. And honestly, if I, if like in my POV, my point of view, honestly, just for me, I don't want to ever see them in my DMs in any kind of part. And honestly, I'd rather stay out. And in the vision, they were literally just worried that I am getting my, getting myself out of everything that is FGC related or anything, anything related to some other animes, including Dragon Ball. Yeah, in the vision, in the mental vision. Can you believe it? And once again, even if even if people 
in real life have actually came on to me and decided to apologize whatsoever. Like honestly, first I would still not accept them. Secondly, I would just ask them to leave my life. I don't even care anymore. All right, whether they like whether they feel guilty or not, I would never accept it. In any case, because I will never ever forget the amount of pain that I've ever got. My like all of the mental and the physical pain and all the diseases that I've ever got and the fact that I've had to keep myself uh, absent from college for two goddamn weeks and a half because of that <sighs> not only this but this whole but that whole thing has just outright deprived me from being a part of a community that I've always dreamed to be a part of and even deprived me from the things that were related to that community that I have made so many good memories and so much good stuff and you know wasted a lot of time, effort and money and energy and and just like that I was deprived for them I know you can just stay into those things but sort of it I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back to the FGC at all. <sighs> not even to an older franchise community. I'm just not coming back. <sighs> and honestly, just honestly, if that's really how the FGC is nowadays, then I feel blessed for not joining it earlier. I feel blessed for not being a part of it at all. In fact, if that was how the FGC used to roll and to act, even the way before the COVID and whatsoever, then fuck all that. Whatever, I should just played all those games alone and already had my experiences and my memories to myself. And maybe to some of my decent friends who don't know anything about fighting games. But hey, at least it's a, it's a good thing. Because right then, I wouldn't have to bother literally being with a group of people who had the same interests as me. Why? Because they're going to flip at me. <sighs> Basically, different pe people with different interests equals harmony. People with the same interests equals drama and chaos. That's how to simplify it. <sighs> I know. I know it's I know it's sad to have this channel turn into a, a venting slash life diary channel, but this is how it is now. This is how it is. And I'm not going to even open up to any more new people or try to attempt to get myself a girlfriend. Just forget it. Really. The world is telling me just forget it. Don't even try anymore. Like, trying at this point is only going to cost me a lot. And it's just that terrible cost. Like, this is just how it is. Like, um, you do a simple thing, you get fucked up for it. You do a big thing, you get fucked up for it. So why even try to do anything if you're going to get fucked up for it anyways? Help. You're fucked. Try trying, you're fucked. Disrespecting, you're fucked. Vibing, you're fucked. Basically, existing, you're fucked. That's just how it is. Really. So, why even try? Why even be in that place? Why even bother in anything around 
these kinds of things in the first place? Well, simple. But I have some decent stuff to live for, to try for, to strive for. Or so what I used to think I have. Really. Like, honestly, I was so blind. I was so blinded by everything through that server that it even blinded me for what I used to have all along. And the horrible truth is that once again, new people equals you're fucked. But the old people equals internal friendship. And that's how it is. And honestly, if I find out that they have ever betrayed me, I'm not going to be surprised anymore. Because then again, I've already lost them the moment I've left them. And I was, I was a complete idiot for thinking that I'll be having quote-unquote better friends. But I was sorely wrong on every aspect of that statement. Every single word was just a fucking prelude to what it would be my downfall. But once again, who cares? The damage has already been done. The whole thing has already been happened, and my name has been completely, straight away, pinned to the fucking mud. No, it even goes way below the, what's below the mud. Way, way deeper into whatever's beyond it, whatever's, you know, below the damn mud. I know. I know I'm just making things depressing and making my days become pretty shit with all of this, but I just. I just really. Really. Just can't help but sometimes talk about this. Because then again, if I'm not talking about it now, then what am I supposed to talk about? I could even explode. Yeah. A society. This is just a society. A terribly made, remade society. From the ashes of the past. Yeah, from the ashes of everyone's past. This society was made. And just as we thought that we we can actually get the hell out of our past, it still comes to us. But whatever. Whatever really. Because once again, who cares? Who cares anyways? Aside of me. No really, who cares? My life just has became a Big fucking failure. A true big failure. Really, all these past years, I thought that my life has ended with many goddamn groundbreaking and awfully memorable, awfully memorable situations where I thought my life was over. That's what I thought. But after that, oh. I even wonder, how the hell was God even so generous to me to let me even get past most of this kind of stuff? Even though I've lost a lot of patience.
online to literally just get killed in our lives with. Just a fucking awful lie. I have lived, really, I have lived in an awful lie where I thought social media was my heaven, social media was my escape, social media was the amazing thing that happened in the world. I want to travel to America. I want to be like the Americans. I want to fight my parents and my country and my religion. I want to yada yada yada. That's what I said. But now, I'm disgusted. I feel so disgusted that I have said each and every, if no, uttered uttered all of those words from my damn stupid accursed mouth and tongue. I can't believe that I have uttered those words from my stinky stupid mouth that should have never ever spoken in its fucking entirety. Really. Like... It's just so fucking regretful. But once again, do they care? Do anyone cares? No. Do anyone want to care? No. Do anyone want to even make any sort of effort to care? Absolutely not. No, sir. No one cares. Go on with your way. No one gives a shit. You're an asshole in the end. You're a pedophile. You're a goddamn disgrace to society. Please kill yourself. Please go on your way and just kill yourself or whatever. That's exactly what people might be just thinking right now. That is just like the minimum amount of sample that I can ever give on people who are watching this or even viewing this channel. Or even making a community post about any of these videos. Or even, like, making any sort of relation. Or any sort of mentioning towards me. Really. But then, am I supposed to change that? I can't. Am I supposed to do something about it? Nope. You stay put. You don't do anything. You don't get out of your corner. Get out of your corner, and you're completely fucked up. Put a whole prison bars around him. And to be very honest, is this really how the world works nowadays? I must be dead, really. But again. Once again, who cares? <sighs> the positive side, things are pretty chill for the time being. Um, I don't have to witness any more ridiculous shit. Um, that old account is going to get deleted in eight days. Fun fact, I was going to literally log on to my goddamn old account. Just literally request my own data of people who have literally friend requested me, or people who have tried to get me, or people who I have left, or all this kind of stuff. I was. I was gonna ruin that progress. But honestly, I just went for the shittier route. That hopefully isn't so shitty after all. <sighs> like at the very least. I will be still having chances to talk to my old friends and there to get out of that old account, hellish account, and maybe, just maybe, I'll finally move on. That's the least that I expect. Just want to move on. Nothing else. Well, 
that's it for now and 